Guys who married bridezillas what happened after the wedding? My sister was labeled a bridezilla by the staff at her venue, I heard them. However, the chair coverings were red, supposed to be brown, there was no mirror in the bridal suite for her to get ready at, the photographer was late, the makeup artist was very late, hence the issue with the mirror, the buffet was totally wrong, not a single dish she chose, and they charged $25 a person for what was to be a four-tier chocolate fountain, but ended up being a small plastic contraption that she saw them unboxing from Walgreens the day of, it's a convenience store. On top of it all the waitstaff was one half the number the contract stated, and the DJ refused to honor the playlist selected. So, yeah, she lost it at the venue. I knew I would have been a bridezilla. I get extremely stressed about things and refuse to ask for help. My husband and I got married at the courthouse. Best decision ever. Yes. Not sure I'd be a bridezilla but stressed, anxious, crying for sure. It would have been miserable for everyone who loved me. So we went to a town hall to do it, kept the whole even a secret until a few days before, only close family. It was amazing and I wouldn't change it for the world. Got into a huge fight about broccoli on the honeymoon, all my fault of course. I knew then it was a mistake, toughed it out for two more years of abuse before I left. So glad I did. First wife was a bridezilla. During the honeymoon she realized she was married and the wedding day was history. She wanted the big wedding, which she had, not the marriage. The next two years were hell until she finally tapped out. I was young and stupid and the thought of divorce never crossed my mind. I don't know why it didn't. I guess I just assumed I'd be miserable the rest of my life. When she told me she was leaving it felt as if the weight of the world was off of my shoulders. On a happy note her parents were still paying off the wedding when we divorced. That's what happens when you allow your daughter everything she wanted, including two wedding dresses. I didn't marry the bridezilla, but I had coordinated her wedding. We had a death in the family, six-month-old baby, a few days prior to the wedding. I called the bride and told her the situation, and said that my assistant would be stepping in for me so that I could attend the funeral. She told me to send my assistant to the funeral, and that I had better be at her wedding. I told her I would be sending her a refund, and that no one would be coming to her wedding. The groom ended up leaving her after this whole thing went down, suffice to say he really dodged a bullet there. My buddy married a bridezilla. She was a bridezilla long before the wedding, and they had dated for about seven years. I have no idea how they are doing. I just kind of stopped talking to him a few years after she claimed I ruined his birthday by remaining sober. I had driven five hours to be at his birthday. My biggest pet peeve is when people buy me shots at a bar. I love to drink, but I hate taking shots. I usually refuse if I can. Then they'll berate me for just cheersing with the shot and taking a chug of my beer instead. Like how on earth does this affect them whatsoever? Not a bridezilla, but a MLzilla. Wife wanted a regular-sized wedding, nothing fancy, at a historic venue she loved. We had planned for about 100 guests at most, and we would do a lot of the work. MIL started to pressure about having to invite tons of people, in-laws are loaded in social butterflies, change the venue, change the photographer, etc. I didn't give a shit since it was all to make my wife happy, and did my best to adjust. Finally one day about two months before the wedding my wife had a breakdown crying because of all the changes and bullshit from MIL. Told wife I would handle MIL from now on. Called MIL and read her the riot act and told her to cool her shit, or we would just get a courtroom wedding and forget about the religious wedding, huge deal to the family, she fought me for weeks. FIL fought me. BILs fought me. Told them all to pound sand. We had our original wedding. I was folding invitations and favors the night before until 3 am, but by fuck we got it done. Of course, Mill still changed the DJ and photographers without me noticing, so we had completely wrong music, and we have yet to see the pictures, 16 years later, and we have minimal contact with the family. Married for 7 years before I bailed, best decision of my life. 
got married again five years later to a girl that just wanted a justice of the peace wedding, second best decision of my life. Divorce after two years, she moved her stuff out while I was at work. I cried and then when I got remarried to someone new, I realized what real love was. Also, my ex shit herself on five separate occasions when she was blackout drunk because she was an alcoholic. So I don't miss that either. Married a groomzilla. We are talking costume changes between wedding and reception, yelling at the wedding planner, drag out all night fights about whether we can add fruit kebabs so people would maybe get enough to eat, all that. There was zero compromise, he made a lot of promises for things I had been wanting after the wedding, and they never materialized, like a beach vacation and such. Turns out, no compromise at the wedding meant no compromise anywhere else, so I left him after four years of marriage. Best decision ever. My buddy married a bride Azilla. They are still together 10 years later. She posts on Instagram about their supposedly perfect marriage, but have been separated twice, I'm not sure how many of her friends know. He's an alcoholic now. My brother's fiancé went off on my mom in front of me and my sister when he was 45 minutes late to the rehearsal due to his best man's car tire blowing out. Where is your asshole of a son? Dude should have never showed up for the wedding. Not only a bright Azilla, but a total utter sociopath. Her life was completely fabricated and her parents, who didn't show up for the wedding, called my mom to tell her the truth about it the day after. She had a rap sheet a mile long and a prison record. But my brother, who just wanted to believe that people can change, stuck it out for seven years. Don't do that. Don't ever ever do that.